everybody and welcome to part three well in the last video we did the UV mapping in this video we're going to be prepping our model for texturing this video has been made possible by Luxion the creators of Keyshot Alright guys, so in part one we modeled our hammer, in part two we did the UV process and in this video we're going to prepare this guy for texturing. So what I want to do is I want to color ID my low poly model uh, so we have that available once we get into Substance Painter. But I'm also going to prepare a model to take into ZBrush so we can create our high poly, right? So first looking at this guy, uh, we need to identify what kind of color uh, identifications we want to put in. So let's look at this guy to start with. Um, I want the uh, grip here to be a different material than this top part. So what I'll probably do is I'll just go in here and right click on a face, drag click this, right click, go to assign a material. We'll take a default Lambert. It doesn't really matter what it is as long as we have a different color setup. So I'll just take maybe red or so. And then let's see, we'll take this top section here. I'm gonna want a different material for that make sure we include this bit right here so hit the shift period and then we're going to right click and go to assign new material once again we'll take a new lambert we'll go in here let's do a yellow or so and make sure we got the bottom there as well let's hit six to turn off that yeah there you go then we want this whole section here and that covers everything we'll do one there as well just so that we have the option to use a different material if we want to. Uh, we're going to take this guy down here and then we're going to deselect this guy and this guy right here. Come on. This, this, and this. There we go. Assign new material. Let's do a new Lambert. Let's go in. Let's take something blue. We'll take this and just keep on going. And it really doesn't matter what color you use as long as they're, uh, you know, able to identify the piece. Okay. So let's go in here, maybe do, I don't know, something white or so. And then let's see, we got the main body here. And um, yeah, we'll initially do it like this. So we've got the main body, we're going to assign new material. We'll go to Lambert, we'll go in here. Let's take something. I don't think we got that color yet. Well, we do actually, so let's just uh, tweak that a little. Just so we've got something unique, like so. Then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna right click and go to face. And we're going to hit four for wireframe mode. The faces that we want are these. Come on. Right click face, the face that we want are these and these. That should work, but not today. Okay, so we're going to go in here and we're going to make sure that we also have the sides selected there. So we're going to hit shift period to increase that selection, like so. And we'll do that on both sides. We're going to right click, assign new material, new Lambert, go in here, maybe do black, why not? We'll repeat that once. So we're going to go back in here and hit five for shaded mode so I can see which one I already did. Let's go to face, drag select. So there you go. We're going to hit shift period again to increase that selection. We're going to right click and go to assign existing material, take the last Lambert, which is black. And then the only one we need to do are rivets. So for that, we're going to go in this view right here. Go to object mode, we're going to drag select, and then we're going to deselect this and deselect this. And if we hit four, we should only have the rivets, and we do. So we're going to right click, we're going to assign new material, Lambert, go in here, and uh, let's see, we'll take, I don't know, something maybe orange or whatnot. All right, there you go. So we have everything with a color ID here. This is already UV'd, so this is going to be our low poly model, the one that we're finally going to import into Substance Painter. Okay, so we're going to go in here, we're going to go to object mode, uh, select everything, 
edit, delete by type and history. We're going to go to modify and freeze transformation. And we're going to go to modify and center pivot. And then we're going to go to file, export selection. And I have a folder called Warhammer. And I'm going to call this low poly hammer EV. All right. Now, the thing is, I want to create a high poly as well in sub, not in Celsius Painter, in ZBrush. And for that, I need to make sure that everything stays intact once I decide to um, up the subdivision, right? So uh, what we need to do there is we need to take all the parts that we want to actually have that done. So for example, I don't want to do that with the rivets. So I'm gonna leave the rivets out of it. And um, let me see here. Um, what I'll do is I'll actually just export the selection once I'm done. But I do need to add a bunch of edge loops. So I'm gonna go into edge loops here and let's set it to manual for now, that's fine. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in and I'm going to start to add a few. So we'll do one here and we'll do one here. We'll do one there and we'll do one there. We'll do one there. And we'll do one there. That should cover the hammer part for the most part, I think. Looks like, yeah. And then we got this guy, excuse me. And I'll put one in here and I'll put one in here. And it's okay for that to become a little bit rounded, but not too much. So I'm gonna go in here and add a few. And that will go all the way down, so that's good. And because this is for our high poly, we don't really have to care about the subdivision at all because it's not going to affect our model. I think we got that. So that is trickling all the way down. Let's see if that is actually happening correctly. Let's hit three to preview smooth here. You can see some are hard and some are not. This one here, so we're going to want to go back. We're going to go in here to injured X loop again. Let's put one in there. Let's put one in there. Q on a keyboard, let's hit three to preview smooth. Do another inspection here. Top part looks good. Handle looks good. This seems to be okay. And the only area here is to go in here. So we're gonna go to injured edge loop again, and we'll add one here, and we'll add one here. And that should help quite a bit. And then maybe we'll do one here. And these already are reinforced, so hit one to go back. Select it, hit three. Okay, that's what we have. So I think that's fine. And then we're gonna go down to this guy and we're gonna do basically the same thing. So injured edge loop. Let's go in here, we'll put one in here, one in there. We'll put one in here and in here there and there there and there there and there and I see one issue down here by the way so let's go in there and fix that Okay, let's see if that covers everything. Let's go in here, hit three. The inside looks a bit rounded and I'm okay with that. I think it looks kind of cool. So we'll leave it like that. This guy hit three, what happens? That is not too bad. And I'm okay with the rivets, all right? So what I wanna do is I wanna export a selection as my high poly, which will basically be everything except the rivets here, okay? So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna go to object mode and drag select everything and let's see whether that's the easiest way to do it 
I'm going to shift drag select. Yeah, there you go. And then we're going to go in here and take that and these like that. All right. And then I'm going to go up to file and uh, export selection. And I'm going to call this, I'll just rewrite this, my high poly. And this is going to be without a rivet. Okay. So we're going to export that. And then we're going to go into ZBrush. All right, guys, while we're in ZBrush, uh, let's go in here. Let's uh, turn off our light box. We're going to go to import. Let's go to, uh, let's see, uh, my desktop. Let's go to my desktop. We're going to go to Warhammer. We're going to take our high poly. We're going to click open. We're going to left click and drag. Hold on shift and snap that. Turn on edit. Turn on make polymesh 3D. There you go. Now I am going to hit P on my keyboard for perspective mode, just because that's a personal preference. And what I want to do first is go to uh, geometry and uh, let me turn on my uh, lines here. And what I want to do is um, remesh this. So I'm going to go to Z remesher. Let's set this to five. That should be fine. And let's give that a go. And there you go. Now, like I said, this is purely for our high poly, so we don't have to worry about it too much. And now that this is done, we can go in to actually uh, subdivide and bump that up. Up here, we've got total points, 83, 334, 1.3 million, and that's probably going to jump way up. Oh, that's not too bad, 5 million. All right, so that's what we're going to use here. And I'm going to turn off my lines here. And what I just want to do is kind of add some little detail, nothing fancy just to give the sense that it's actually been used in the battle or whatnot. So I'm going to go to my stroke here. We're going to use uh, freehand for this. And for my brush, I'm going to go in and look for my uh, trim dynamic, which is up here. Let's see how big the size is here. And we're just going to give it a go. That's way too big. So we're going to go back. We're going to bump the draw size down quite a bit. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Okay, so we're just going to break the surface a bit just by hitting those corners. And right now I'm actually doing this with the mouse. Uh, no idea why, because I have a tablet right here. Um, I found though that um, whenever I start my system and I don't turn it on, uh, it's not responding. So I have to reboot everything. So that's kind of why I didn't do that. And I'm kind of wondering whether you guys ever have the same problem or not. So we're just going to go in here just to give it some detail. And as always, as this is intended as a tutorial, you should take your time and you know spend a couple of hours on this this is a very important part of the process i don't want to do that obviously because this is a video with a different purpose but just so you understand right okay i'll try not to go nuts on this let me just uh, slightly increase that draw size there Some dings and scratches and dents and you get the idea, right? We can go in here and do a little bit of the same here on the handle, especially on those corners. And I'm doing this, <clears throat> excuse me, trying to do this as fast as possible, which is exactly what you should not do, right? Okay, so we're gonna go in here maybe one or two there all right so now that we have this all done what we're going to do is we're going to go and export this guy and it doesn't have to be uv again because it's a um a high poly so uh, i'm going to overwrite our current high poly right here save that replace it and then what i'm going to do is go back into uh, maya and load this up uh, and kind of make sure that we've got the rivets and everything in place and then export it again as a high poly. Okay, so let's give this a sec.
All right, and we're back in Maya. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, drag select this guy. And I'm basically going to get rid of everything except the rivets. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. We'll get rid of this. And we'll get rid of this. And then we're going to go to File and uh, Import. And we're going to go to our desktop. Uh, let's see, high poly, yeah, that's the one we want, the OBJ, we're going to import that, and we'll give that a second, and there you go, guys, and while I'm doing this, I'm realizing that I actually didn't necessarily have to do this, for the simple reason that um, the high poly that we created without the rivets will bake on all the elements on top of our low poly and substance painter without affecting the rivets. So what we could have done is just use the high poly and take that into the substance painter. Okay. But now that we're here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a uh, file and export selection and I'll just uh, overwrite our high poly, export that. And there you go. And that will set everything up for our next video. And in that video, we're going to do the actual texturing. Okay, so see you guys then. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye.